a select parliamentary committee chaired by Shema Uman MP Rosemary Nyachikongoro has heard that Foreign Affairs Minister's AD approached Efraim Biraro seeking intervention to block the cancellation of the contract which had been awarded to the Chinese civil engineering construction company. And he was saying, he, by the way, he was introducing himself to me, he was saying he was like, is it the owner of Tessa's AD? Biraro was appearing before the select committee probing the controversy over the standard gauge railway. NTV could not, however, independently verify the allegations about Kutesa's AD. The Buhweju County MP said he has since heard from whistleblowers telling him how the three ministers in the works ministry are fighting to front Chinese companies to do the work. One, in the first instance, I see His Excellency the President initiating the project with CCECC. That's what I see in the documents, yes. with that thing. Then, in the middle there, I see another minister, now I think the, the documents will put it correct. Honorable Biandara also bringing in CCCC. At some point also, I see Honorable Chebrot signing all the same memorandum of understanding with a different company. Then lastly, check comes in with Honorable Gambi, and check is the winner now. Recently, the State Minister for Works, Johnny Biabagambi, defended his decision to cancel the memorandum of understanding that the government of Uganda had signed with the China Civil Engineering Construction Company in favor of China Harbor Engineering Company that is said to have been fronted by the American diplomat, Rosa Whitaker. And that's why I, saw, I started calling the minister to ask him to go thoroughly and logically. We discussed it on the phone. He said they must go on because he had express instructions from His Excellency the President. That's what he told me on the phone. And we are talking about huge amounts of money, you know, to upgrade the railway. You know, eight, about eight billion U.S. dollars. We got information on the very day they were going to terminate the contract. I also called the PS. He said he was very secure, and he had all the information that what we were doing was right. I see the president as a man who is besieged. Like one minister said, he's one of them by sharks. <laughs> now, um... Biraro said he has obtained a copy of the letter written by the then permanent secretary in the Minister of Works, Chelsea Muganzi, warning ministers against their actions. He, to me, he's a royal Ugandan. If he's a royal, if he wrote the letter sincere, with sincerity, that he was cautioning his ministers about the multiplicity of the of the MOUs. And somewhere in his letters, he cautioned them that if these issues come to Parliament, heads will roll. The committee was also informed that government surrendered a feasibility study conducted by an engineering company called GAF, free of charge, to China Harbor Engineering Company, which remains unpaid to a tune of 30 billion shillings. When I asked the minister about it, that there is this donation that you did. Said, no, that is a normal routine. That's what we normally do. Otherwise, GAF was asking for 30 billion. You know, the payments have got to be done. That liability should not remain in our books. The standard gauge railways deal is expected to cost the Ugandan taxpayer 8 billion US dollars. Jingo Francis, NTV.